Hello, baseball fans and White Sox fans and sports fans in general. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I got some White Sox news for you. Another trade. Unbelievably, the White Sox have done yet another trade. After getting Hazley, after getting Graveman, after getting um, Kelly and um, um, Harrison, they have also now gone out and traded Craig Kimbrell, who they got from the Cubs last year, and sent him to the Dodgers for A.J. Pollock. So, I guess their plan is to collect outfielders? Hmm? You, know, you know what I noticed? Nobody panics when things go according to plan. Even if the plan is horrifying. So anyway, yeah, that's another outfielder because we just traded for Hazley, and so now we have A.J. Pollock. Um, I, I don't know that we needed that many outfielders. Although, last year, Kimbrell, now you'll recall, overall, Kimbrell last year was good. He was 4-5 and five with a 226 earned run average in 2021. However, for the White Sox, he was 2-2 two and two with a 5.09 ERA. He was not good for the White Sox. Not at all. So, um, so we'll see. I mean, I guess we, tr we ended up trading something that, um, I mean, Kimbrell has been up and down like a yo-yo the last few years. So we traded an asset from, from a position of strength Although that position of strength is getting whittled down, and I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, and we added another outfielder. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's a fine deal. Um, Pollock last year uh, for the Dodgers hit 297 with a 355 on base percentage, and he had 21 home runs. So he should be a fine addition to the team. I'm just not sure what the plan is because. Two of the White Sox outfield positions, you got to figure, are locks. Eloy Jimenez in left, Lewis Robert in center. Those are locked. I mean, you know, except for like when those, those guys need a rest or if they get in, uh, you know, minor injury or, you know, you know, cuts or bruises or whatever, need a day off. But really, generally, those two guys are going to play all year in those two outfield positions. That leaves only right field that's really in flux at, uh, you know, in any way. And um, you got Vaughn who will play out there occasionally. Now he is out with a hip injury for, uh, you know, maybe a few weeks, three weeks to a, a month maybe. Um, but you also have um, Gavin Sheets who can play out there. And Gavin Sheets is a left-handed hitter who hits righties and that's exactly what Hazley is. So they got Hazley. So now they got Gavin Sheets, Hazley. And you got to believe that that's what their plan is for Pollock, too. In fact, Pollock may now be the guy, the right fielder. And so the outfield may be locked in as um, Eloy Jimenez, um, Robert, and, and Pollock. So we'll see. Again, that. That's a decision that's up to Tony La Russa. But yeah, we did go out and do that. We traded Kimbrell to the Dodgers for Pollock. Now, uh, the injury news that I've got is Crochet is out for the season and he needs Tommy John surgery. So that isn't good. That is not good at all. Garrett Crochet, gone. So, you, one might question the timing of trading Kimbrell when we just lost Crochet for the season uh, to Tommy John surgery. So I I don't know. I, I really don't know. I'm not the guy that makes that decision. I'm glad I don't have to make those decisions. But the White Sox still are a very good team. They should still win the Central Division. Um, and I don't think that the this combination of all these moves really does much to make the White Sox much better or much worse. But what do you guys think? 
leave a comment below give me a thumbs up if you like the video subscribe to my channel if you haven't you know some of you out there are watching this and you haven't so just do it it's free it's free and you'll know whenever i put a video up so anyway that is my commentary for today my update from the White Sox for today, and that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.